What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we've got an 11 Mustang in here for its third wrap, number three. Uh, we've done it in an orange, gloss orange, a satin purple chrome, and now it's coming in for a uh, matte autumn fire, which is a KPMF, which is a very similar to the uh, uh, copper matte chrome. Uh, this is actually here. The paint on it is beat. That's the reason we've wrapped this one so many times before. Uh, whoever painted it the first time did an awful job. So every single time it's pulled up paint when we remove the wrap, and we've had to send it off to get it sanded down and make sure that the uh, wrap is gonna adhere and that it's gonna look good. It's still a little bit of purple on the door handle from the last one, uh, but it's got a brand new hood on it that had been painted and a uh, new bumper, new fenders, uh, and I think it just got air ride installed on it. So this thing's gonna look sick when it's done. Uh, I'll give you a little sample of what it's gonna look like. Definitely gonna look sick on this color or this car. So you guys tell us what you think. All right guys, so the Mustang is completely torn down. Uh, we just got it back from the shop. Everything is completely sanded, uh, smooth, so we don't have to worry about any imperfections in the wrap. Uh, also, we have the Civic that we did a couple months back uh, in the shop as well. He got sideswiped on his fender. They had to replace it, so we're gonna go ahead and wrap that for him. Uh, but we can also show you what the wraps do over time. So this is actually how well it holds up. Uh, we wrapped this one a couple months back. Um, you know, fender got messed up, but the bumper luckily didn't get hit at all. Everything's still holding up really, really well on there. Uh, this thing is filthy. You can see the dirt and everything sitting right up on top of this. But everything else is still holding up really, really well. Edges, corners, as you can see, still looking really, really nice. Back bumper, all this was laid in one piece as well. Even though it's filthy, still holding up really well. But this is here. This is the Mustang. Uh, back sanded down. Trunk looks a hundred times better. Lots of spots on the quarter panel uh, that had some really deep gashes in it. Those are good, so we'll have to give this thing one final wipe down. All right guys, so we got the hood all taped up with knifeless uh, and it was not holding very well at all. So we took all that back off and we decided to do it the old school way with design line, uh, regular tape and then uh, masking tape so we can make cuts for the relief so we don't overstretch the material. Uh, we didn't want to risk with all these vents, uh, something lifting up and having to trash the entire wrap. Uh, for something like that. So we'll have to be super careful, make sure the blades are you know, super, super sharp, brand new, uh, and then we'll want to score the material so we won't actually be cutting in so we can get a really clean cut without damaging the paint. So this is it here. Uh, it's not wanting to show up, but the orange is actually the uh, fine line, which is a lot of painters use for masking up stuff, and then the yellow as well, so we can actually you know, make our cuts somewhere on the yellow and uh, get it to fold down into here really, really seamlessly. Alright guys, so one side of the Mustang is complete. Uh, if I'm honest, I do like the purple satin chrome that we had on there a lot better. I'm just a sucker for purple. I'll definitely throw a photo up in there. You guys tell me what you think. But this is what it's looking like right here. Any satin chrome or satin chrome lookalike, I'm definitely a sucker for. Um, and then I'm also a sucker for air ride, so that makes it look that much better. Uh, if you guys were wondering about this one here, in the background, uh, we're doing a set of stripes on it. Uh, we've got a couple other cars, including this one that's going to Mustang Week. 14-inch uh, set of stripes on there with a one-inch uh, stripe on the side of it, and this will be on our next video. We're going to tip the tail lights with a couple other things, but this thing looks sick and is also on air ride. But back to this one here. If you guys, you know, look at the difference between a doo-doo paint job, you know, the sanded and prepped correctly, um, you know, and you wrap over top of it, it looks a hundred times better. Hundred times better. And this one was the same way, I mean, minus my greasy handprints, this thing will all have to be wiped down. But all this has been sanded, so. Obviously anything that's sanded or painted, you know, we're not gonna warranty, but obviously we do the best that we can to make sure that it sticks, as you've seen in some of our last videos with wrapping over primer. So, definitely make sure you like and subscribe. You know, we definitely appreciate it. Boom.
right, so the Mustang's finished up. We're getting ready to do the video shoot and photo shoot. Uh, as always, Midnight Photography is doing the photo shoot for us. I'll leave uh, his link and information in the bio, so y'all have to, have to go check him out for sure. This thing turned out looking absolutely amazing. Got the Maserati in. Getting ready to do some uh, mirror caps, roof wrap, uh, a couple other things on it as well. But this is it.